wonder where all the guns went, right? The army seized them after a loon killed a bunch of people in March 2024. God knows. I'm recording this for posterity, so they can learn from my mistakes, to warn all who follow about the worst of plagues. And I am not referring to the virus. I was born into a very religious family. My earliest childhood memories? Prayer. Every morning and every evening. Knees scraped from constant contact with oak floorboards. When I grew up, I had a very hard time. I was lonely. I suffered. Despite my upbringing, I turned to religion for solace. It gave me the answers I sought. That I came to realize my father had tried to give me. To endure bullying is to earn heavenly rewards. God was my best friend. My only friend. I talked to him every day. And I believed that he listened to me. And answered and loved me too. I felt like I owed him a debt. And that's why I enrolled in seminary. I think I became a fanatic in a way. The urge to spread his teachings, convert others. It was not about God. It was about my own shortcomings. It was about me. There was something unhealthy about it and dangerous. Pilgrim, you said you'd help us. Where were you when those bandits murdered our people? Someone with moon-sized balls who wanted to send Something a message. You don't discreetly Did kill a military leader. A little. Did Lucas the worst Did thing was they took all the equipment. Don't make me laugh. What do you think? Then why did you do it yourself?
Today, Sara has a story to share with us. Sara, please begin. Then... Bargain with bandits. Is something bothering you? Didn't you tell the I'm waiting for my boys to come home. Blue. They went out what in weather vegetables? like this? There's not Who could have known it was going to rain so yeah, much? Soil I used to love the rain when I was in I thought farming would be less complicated. That's about the only thing I can do. That sweet weapon you got there, you know. Maybe that's why I'm constantly depressed. What did you study? You're exaggerating. Tomorrow will be better. I don't even know what that is. I hope so. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile. And then I see the goddamn UV lights. This chatter about the night runners rising from the ashes lately. <clears throat> Hey, Herman. Where's Sophie? Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Okay. 
I guess that means I should wait here. Mia? Aiden, what's the matter with you? Mia, where are you? Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. He's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, He's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me or I'm watching over him. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass, but we'll do something good for the city one day. Bertie, to your health! I gather you were close with Bertie? He tried to be a poet. 
kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was 10 years old. That's pretty young. Too young, but he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. I swear, I'll gut them. Real slow. Piece by piece. To Ralph, Susie, Ben Birdie, to our crew.
I can't listen to my old lady anymore. Then leave her. It's not that simple. You're a grown man. You want to live with your mother for the rest of your life? Listen, I tried to move out. And? <laughs> What do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. That doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie... I can handle them. Lucas thought so too, and look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere, with a piece of your hide cut out. You came here just to warn me? You help me with the Lazarus, and I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. Huh, <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar, and for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Go help Sophie, but be careful, Aiden. Don't trust. That's the 
people of the bazaar. They're more dangerous than they seem. Take care of yourself, Pilgrim. Take care of yourself. 